Bessie, full text search using inverted keys, or finding a needle in a field full of haystacks. Hello, I'm Tom Gillis, and this video is about using the inverted key algorithm for full text search. Bessie is a proof of concept program which uses the inverted key algorithm. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate Bessie and outline its system design, especially the database. Let's meet Bessie. As you can see, Bessie has a very simple interface. Let's search for the single word man. Bessie does not care about upper or lower case. As you can see, that finds seven documents out of a total of 30. I can add a wildcard percent sign to the argument and that finds 16. Leading and embedded wildcards are also permitted, which returns 20. Much more sophisticated searches are possible. I'll cover those at the end. Regarding the user interface, the doc ID is an internal identifier generated by Bessie. What I have called label is what a user will recognize. We can suppress display of the internal identifier if we wish. Of course, Bessie allows multiple search arguments. Adding earth reduces the number of documents to five. Bessie combines searches by performing a logical AND on the search results. So, searching for earth and man returns only those documents which have both. Bessie will allow almost any number of search arguments. There are limits, but they are way beyond any practical limits a user will encounter. The original specification for Bessie asks for an exact phrase search. We know how to deliver that, but the people who sponsor the project have given that a lower priority since seeing Bessie in action. Inverted key designs have been around since the mid-70s. They are a common component of search engines. Bessie has been designed to use a relational database, which simplifies programming and makes accessing the data for reporting easier. In the proof of concept, I used Microsoft SQL Server. The Bessie database has three main components. Documents, the dictionary, and what I have termed usage, which links each word with the documents where it has been used. The separation of document and part is caused by the intended application for Bessie. For the purposes of this video, they can be considered one in the same thing. The dictionary contains one entry for every unique word used in the database. When a search is being performed, the parameter is used to search the dict word table. This returns the integer keys for the matching words. These word keys are then used in the usage table to identify all the relevant documents. At each step, records are found using indexes. The process is efficient and fast. The inverted key approach has a further advantage. If you were to search using a linear approach, then the effort required to perform a search would increase as the database grew. With inverted key, the search starts with the dictionary. Initially, the dictionary grows with the database, but because we use a limited vocabulary, it reaches a plateau and then grows very slowly. This makes the performance of inverted key systems like Bessie predictable. Of course, someone using the likes of Bessie really wants to see the document they have been searching for. With Bessie, this is a simple case of clicking on a list item. The selected item is displayed. Again, don't be distracted by header or document versus parts. Think of them as aspects of the same thing. You can see that key information is supplied for documents. The synopsis boxes contain the text which was searched by Bessie. The stored box contains the text as it was supplied. 
If I scroll down, you can see that words which match the search criteria have been highlighted. It may surprise you, but the inverted key algorithm does not actually have to store the document which is being searched. If you want to display the document, then you can do several things. You can store the text of the document, which is what I have displayed as stored on the left. Or you can construct the text of the document from the indexes and the dictionary, which is what I have delivered labelled derived on the right. The text has been folded to lowercase and has lost all punctuation and formatting. It's not easy to read and I would not normally show this, but my sponsors are interested in how things work under the covers. This form is also useful for debugging the document loading processes. Finally, you can display the document in some other form. The text I used to populate Bessie was deliberately eclectic. It is a mixture of poetry and random Wikipedia pages. A user might want to see the document fully formatted, like addressed to a haggis, or even, as created by Wikipedia, the page for an Egyptian deity. Here, are the different wildcard options Bessie allows. The first two are obviously useful. The last two are more difficult to apply. For those who are interested, here are the vital statistics of the Bessie database. You can see that it isn't enormous, but it's not trivial either. To summarize, inverted key or inverted index databases are a useful way of performing full text search. Inverted key is not that hard to implement, but there are some tricky bits, especially the design of the load process, which I've only hinted at, requires some thought. Inverted key databases have good performance characteristics. They make good use of SQL indexes and the effort required for searching reaches a plateau. If you found this interesting and would like to know more, please leave a comment below or contact me through my website.